Intel desperately scrapes together some tests where they beat M1. Now that Intel has a new CEO in place, it's becoming clearer how worried they are about the impact of Apple Silicon on their business. Exhibit A, their carefully selected graphs where they find a handful of tests that their latest 11th gen Core i9-1185G7 with twice the thread count and a 4.8 gigahertz clock can win before switching that one out for a very different chip when testing battery life. They also switched out the MacBook Pro for the lower battery life MacBook Air to give the PC laptop a chance too. I mean, it's still lost, but it wasn't by the massive amount it would have been against the MacBook Pro. They also then claimed that the M1 couldn't do stuff like start a video conference in Zoom, which is odd as my wife spends most of her days doing exactly that on the MacBook Air with M1. So having brought out their big guns, I wonder what they'll do after March the 16th when we're expecting our first look at the M1X and Apple Silicon iMac and less likely, but for many more exciting, MacBook Pro 16 inch. The M1X is expected to at least double, but quite possibly triple the number of high performance Firestorm cores at the disposal of the system, along with higher memory options and support for all the displays you could ever want. I'm IK Dave and I simplify Apple so everything just works for you. And if you want the latest Apple news, leaks and rumours every weekday at 12 UTC, like this video, subscribe to the channel and ring the notification bell so that you don't miss a thing and post up hashtag notification squad down in the comments so that I can give you a shout out at the end of the next video.